New tonight, Norfolk's federal lawmakers are asking for money to be freed up to start some work on some of the city's top flood projects. In a letter to the budget office, the elected leaders say Norfolk is one of the cities with the highest rate of relative sea level rise on the whole East Coast. Tonight on your side's Brett Hall shows us what's being prioritized. You don't have to live here long to know that on any day that ends in Y, Norfolk's Hague Cannon will flood. Same can be said for parts of Ocean View and Larchmont and, let's face it, many more areas. So to see our federal de delegation unanimously and uniformly supporting this is really huge. Count Councilwoman Andrea McClellan is one thankful to hear there is movement in Washington to help fix it. In a letter to the Office of Management and Budget, as well as the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, both of Virginia's senators and House members asked for $5.4 million to help start planning for four major projects in Norfolk. One includes building a 600-foot-long storm barrier with pump station at The Hague, another similar setup in Pretty Lake, and then a tide gate in Lafayette River and Broad Creek. But keep in mind, this is just a plan. So we're going to have to come up with significant dollars as well in the future. Actual costs make the requested amount seem puny. So $5.4 million is a down payment for the $1.4 billion that we've identified. Another part of the request would be for some money to help establish more nature-based features to slow water down. These are just some of the ideas that have risen to the top to fight the flooding threat. Of course, many people would like to know, when could I possibly see this working in action? Again, that all depends on the money. In Norfolk tonight, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.